Good evening everyone on this cold, dark night. Um, it's dark because uh, the sun's going down early at the moment, we've got shorter days, so I don't have the opportunity to do this during the working week out in, in the sun. Um, what I'm doing is I'm doing an introduction to a video that I, I kind of wasn't planning on uploading. I wasn't planning on uploading anything that already are home on earlier channels of mine. So um, this is not my first YouTube channel. I've got a few others that have some traveling stuff, some four-wheel driving stuff, and a lot of scuba diving and cave diving. But I thought, what can I do on the vlog channel with it that's a bit different? Because um, I do more raw videos on here. I, I basically talk a lot more about stuff. I thought, well, what about if I upload them with a bit of an introduction or a bit of commentary? And I thought that's what I'd do. So I wanted to start with, well, I want to introduce this piece of kit I've got right here by me. And this is what I was wearing for most of my diving in Mount Gambia. This is actually an armadillo side mount harness. And when you get into technical diving, which uh, I guess by definition is essentially diving recreationally beyond normal recreational limits. So you're going further, you're going deeper, um, you're going more, more, more into a, a, a wreck or a cave, um, and you're getting into the realms of decompression, then you need more equipment. And I thought, well, if you've got more equipment, where can you put it that's not really bulky and you can keep it out of the way so you can get through really tight restrictions? And this is one of the ways to do it. And I knew a lot of other divers were using side mount harnesses, but then, you know, which one to get? And I saw someone who was a reasonably well-established diver. Um, he, he basically just had it on the floor of this, this place I was staying. And uh, I asked him about it because it looked like it was pretty well loved to say the least. And he said it's an armadillo side mount harness. And um, yeah, they're pretty much idiot proof and they're really, really tough. And then I found my instructor actually uses the same, or was using the same back then at least. And I thought that's, that's the one for me, you know? Super tough, idiot proof. Um, basically they've got a reasonable amount of lift capacity. Uh, and even when they are quite well inflated, because I don't dive generally in a dry suit, I drive in a wet suit. Even when they're quite well inflated, they're, they're, they're still, it's not like you've got this big air cell sticking out. They're, they're reasonably streamlined. So I ordered one and as soon as I took um, possession of it, I thought I've got to go and give it a bit of a trial down locally, um, down south in the ocean before I take it up to Gambia and I'm in an overhead environment. So that's what I did. And I went down to, amongst other places, Rapid Bay, because there's a lot of wreckage of old jetty parts that have been you know, thrown in that you can swim amongst. And um, I did this video. And I didn't do this video with a, a view to uploading it. I did a video just so I could review what I was doing. And um, I put the camera in my pocket, basically. I just stuck it different places, took some footage. And one of the things you'll notice is the visibility is terrible but it was the best we had in a few weeks. So I thought, I'll go with that. At least I can see myself, barely. Um, and that way I can look at it. And I put a video together just to review and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna upload it. It's not one of my visually really good ones, but it, it just didn't matter. It was just showing some of the um, potential of the harness. And you'll see in later videos that I plan on uploading on the vlog, um, where maybe I do a, a commentary on them too or an introduction, I'll be wearing this harness, the side mount harness. Um, and you can just see how there's a real benefit to keeping things nice and streamlined in by your side. Um, and yeah, you can get into all kinds of places. So it's a really good tool for exploration. 